Hello there and a very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. You are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show, a regular show all about fantastic cruise holidays every Tuesday. I think we've been going about eight years now. Tonight, we've got six amazing cruises. Actually, no, I'll tell a lie, we've got seven. And we're going to be joined by Ruth from Celebrity, who's going to be with us in about 10 minutes' time. But... Here he is. He's back on dry land. It's our lovely Justin. Nice How are you to doing? Nice to see you. It feels like it's been a, a whole cruise. It feels like two weeks. <laughs> yes. Well, if, if you missed last week's show, we were actually on board the Britannia, yes. which is a real yeah, yeah. treat. But we are back, of course, in sunny Peterborough today. But what a show we've got, haven't we? Uh, do you know what, tonight, it's sort of like, how could we follow last week with this week? It's as simple as that. I can't. It's great to see Ruth back. Um, great product that we've got coming up tonight as well from Celebrity and a river cruise and an ocean cruise and Viking. Uh, and a cruise for under, believe it or not, a cruise for under £400 in September as well. So it's a very exciting show. Those of you that don't know Justin, he's a cheeky chap here that worked on the cruise ships for many years, didn't you? Six years at sea, hence no hair, hence grey, hence <laughs> he, that I need my teeth yeah, done. He, 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 he did party hard, <laughs> he did party hard. But um, he's got a wealth of knowledge. No, and I, I mean, and as we go through tonight, oh. just looking at the places that we're going, there's going to be some great places for you to see, great things to do, uh, and great people to meet yeah. as well. Uh, and some exclusive savings, exclusive offers, and lots of drinks packages, you'll be pleased to know as well. Uh, now, I'd, I'd love to meet you, and there's a chance of doing that if you go to our live cruise show. I'm going to be there with our lovely Keith Maynard, and... You can actually register right now. Now, the cruise show is actually on Sunday, the 12th of June. Uh, it's between 9.30 and 4. You can turn up any time, by the way. You don't have to be there for the whole thing. But you've got free entry. There's a prize draw. Uh, you'll get actually to meet over 25 ocean and river lines. And it's great because you get to learn about all the different brands, all the different companies. You get to talk to them face to face. We've got complimentary drinks. Uh, we've also got a talk theatre. And so I'm going to be there with, with Keith doing a QA session. Ask us anything you like. We're going to be there. Uh, we've got exclusive deals on the day as well and you can actually help us in celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday so great to that and if you'd like to to register you can do it on all the w's.planetcruise.co.uk forward slash the cruise show so do that tonight because obviously we have got limited availability but we're going to start off with our first cruise tonight and it's with MSC now both of us could not believe the price in this one. I was looking Seriously. at this and I was thinking, you, September, I'm free. I know you and are. I'm like, I've, after going back on board a ship, um, I've got the bug. I want to go back. And that's the, the great thing. This looks yeah. a fantastic ship, great brand, and some great ports for um, the price. And, and what is really quite strange is the lead date, which is the, the 6th of September, where you're going to get, you know, you know, pretty much great weather, is actually the lowest price tonight at 399 I think it's going to fly. Anyway, let's take you on board. This is a beautiful ship, isn't it, Jay? Do you know, with, with MSC, um, it really is that celebration of uh, a fantastic oh. Mediterranean cuisine and style. You can see here oh, look that it is opulent. They've got some beautiful ships, but it's the facilities as well. You've got some great outdoor space uh, on the ships. A medium-sized ship as well, so you're not going to get completely lost. So you're not talking thousands upon thousands of people. A nice medium-sized ship. One thing I particularly like on board is the range of food and drink. They've got some great spa facilities. I mean, just take uh -huh. a look at that jacuzzi. And you're overlooking the ocean. They've got the gym facilities. I'm telling you, you're going to need it. Just, just, <laughs> just, to, just to walk it off. All the usual modern, modern amenities. Here's the 4D cinema. Um, and they've also got F1 simulators, which obviously I'm a big fan of. We're talking about Monaco, if you do like F uh, Formula One, um, uh, a little bit later on with Ruth. But as you can see, fantastic for the family. Um, we've got that real great feel. I'd love to take my other half on here, just the two of us. Um, you know, because look at the food. You can indulge it in a, a cheese and wine bar. And look at the... And, the, and, and is this one of the latest ships, Justin? Yeah, and uh, well, again, with MSC, you can see how I mean, yeah. modern... I was um, going to say. The complete feel is. It really is um, fantastic um, looking. And if you want to book it, I think it's going to be one of the top sellers. You need to give us a call right now and put a deposit down. It's deposit only. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, we're all going to be on this one, seriously. So, <laughs> I'm thinking, I, 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 I think I could get away for a cheeky week in September. But that's the thing. Seven nights, 399 
Um, you know, you look at how much uh, just a, a hotel would cost. You've got food, you've got entertainment, you've got fantastic sights to see what you're going to go through, uh, and a beautiful ship. That ship itself, yeah. if you were on land, what sort of star rating would yeah. that be? A four or five star hotel? Yeah. It really looks fantastic. I mean, and you're going to get to see all these great places. So, straight from Southampton, so you can take uh, as much luggage as you like, basically. Um, nice, easy start, and we're making our way across to Bruges, the bugger. Yeah, I mean, what, what do you like to do? Do you want to go and see uh, you, so perhaps some of the um, uh, the breweries? You can go, obviously, to some of the Belgian beer breweries. You can do uh, Flanders Fields. You can do the canals. You can do um, uh, do some chocolate. Oh, oh I'll tell yeah. the chocolate here is absolutely fantastic. It's actually fascinating because you, you can find a chocolate anything, can't you? Yeah, yeah. And I think there is actually, um, when I say a bar, there's there's a specialist outlet that does alcoholic, non-alcoholic. They'll do meat, milkshakes, things that you can drink, things that you can eat, things that you can dip. Yeah. It's yeah. It's, honestly, it's, it, it's a beautiful place. Uh, and then we're making our way over to Amsterdam, isn't Amsterdam. it? Amsterdam. Do you know, I absolutely love this place. It's got so much culture um, at both ends of the scale. Uh, of course, you can uh, go to all the flower markets. You can go to see Rembrandt's museum. You can go to see Van Gogh's museum. You can go to Anne Frank's house. Uh, and, of course, you can do some window shopping as well if you want to. So uh, there's plenty to see and do in Amsterdam. Then we're into Hamburg. Now, this holds a special place in my heart. It's actually where me and my fiancé... Oh. Um, uh, got engaged and you can see here the beautiful town hall this is where at Christmas I know this is a little bit before Christmas this is where they have the big Christmas market so this is where they have their markets and there's one little square that you've got to find with a little bar called the Tamer it's like a big Ben but he's had a couple of drinks and he's sort of like drooping over to one side if you find that place you're on some absolute gold my fantastic food and fantastic drink I but this is an overnight <laughs> Do you, uh, do you like overnights? I do, I do. But I do Which I, just means you don't have to rush, doesn't it? Well, the thing is, Hamburg, again, day and night is chalk and cheese. There's lots to see and do in Hamburg. If you like the Beatles, why not do the Beatles tour? Oh, yes. Yeah, and of course, there, there's the Reaper Barn as well, which is the famous, famous area. So there's plenty to see and do in Hamburg. Um, definitely up there on the top ten of my list. Now, your next day is actually at sea, so you'll get to really enjoy that splendid ship to use all of those free facilities. And then we make our way over to La Havre, so a chance to visit Paris if you like. Yeah, this is the gateway to Paris, of course, if you want to go and do, well, all of the tourist stuff. If you book a tour in advance, remember, we can actually tailor-make and bespoke this um, to, to suit your needs. So if you do want to go and see Notre Dame, if you want to go and see the Eiffel Tower, if you want to go to the Louvre, um, then do it through Planet. And that's the best thing because it's all done and dusted. And especially for that price, you've got to set, book yourself a tour on. Um, you know, when you think about it, I, have you you've been to Paris before? I have, yeah. I've never been. And when no. I think about where I've been on the cruise ships... I've never been to Paris. Well, here's your chance. We, seriously, we're both thinking of booking this one, if we can both get holiday at the same week. Uh, and then I'm back, right. of course, to Southampton. <laughs> um, again, it's one of the most amazing offers we've ever seen from MSC. The lead at the 6th of September. Let's just share everything that is included. Now, if, um, we've got a very special relationship with the Mian Valley Marriott in Southampton. So if you want to stay there uh, the night before your cruise, you can do that for just £89 per person. And that will include parking and your return port transfers. Um, amazing value. It actually works out under £57 per person per night. And you've also got, don't forget, that overnight on board in Hamburg as well. Uh, Price-wise, we've got all of these dates available. Uh, the 6th of September is the lead date there, just 399 We've got the 13th of September, 549 And uh, prices stay there until you get to October and they get back down to 399 I've got to say, the, the difference between the inside and the ocean view is actually very small, so really worth upgrading. Actually, even the balcony, we've got prices starting at 569 As ever, it's a free phone number 020 369 69457. Phone lines open till 11 o'clock tonight. Or, of course, you can check out all the details on the Planet Cruise website. But we are joined by one of my favourite guests ever, ever in the last it's 16 lovely. years. I mean that as well. This is Ruth from Celebrity Cruises. It's lovely to be back. I, it feels like ages since it, I've been too here long with you both. This. Mwah, good to see you. Mm. Oh, I get two. You, you do? Uh, now, um, Ruth, you, I mean, 
Uh, all of our regular viewers know I, I, am, I am your biggest fan. I, you I, you know, I, am. I pay him a fortune to say that. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I really all. don't. I'm, I've just put my six celebrity crews. But for viewers Wonderful. that don't know celebrity, why are you multi-award winning? Why are you such a great, great Well, fan? you just mentioned it there, multi-award winning. We've been voted best premium cruise line for the last seven years in a row. And we've been voted best food at sea by Food and Travel magazine for the last two years in a row as well. Our tagline is modern luxury. We like to be unique, innovative, and really take yeah. care of our guests and do things to surprise and delight you so that yeah. you really don't know what to expect next. Fully entertained. I was going to say, your entertainment on the last Celebs Cruise mm -hmm. was absolutely Well, incredible. we've also launched 18 new shows in 18 months, so it doesn't matter which ship you go on, we've invested massively, and you will see different shows on every different ship. Right. I mean, every, you know, every, everything. And I think sometimes when you've done a lot of cruises, you... Mm -hmm. You know, you can almost start nitpicking, can't you? And I can honestly say, every single cruise with celebrity has been That's perfect. Wonderful and I mean to that, hear. it's been, yeah. Wonderful I've, I've to my hear. Uh, however, we're going to go even higher tonight because you've we brought are. back our jet sail cruises. Haven't yes, you? our jet set sail. Now, for the guests who are watching at home, you may remember we did the whole show in September, and this was the top seller. And we've just literally put it back on sale for 2017. Jet Set Sail is unique. It feels very exclusive, but it is so affordable. And it's for people who hate the hassle of flying and airports. And waiting around. Exactly. Well, here's a little taster with Ruth. I'm here at Stansted to tell you about Jet Set Sail for summer 2017. But I'm not at the Stansted airport you're thinking of. I'm here at the in-flight private air terminal for Celebrity Cruises' very special offering on board Celebrity Equinox and Celebrity Constellation. Welcome to the world of modern luxury. Celebrity Equinox was voted best ship overall by Cruise Critic in 2015, and Celebrity Constellation received the highest guest ratings in the Celebrity fleet. So it's only fitting that you fly to the Mediterranean in outstanding style also. So we've partnered with Titan Airways to bring you this exclusive opportunity. Included is complimentary car parking less than 100 metres from the terminal. As you walk into the terminal, your check-in desk is right in front of you. No crowds of people waiting for different flights, just all of our celebrity guests taking exactly the same cruise as you. This is the only aircraft using this terminal, so you will have the whole luxury experience all to yourselves. Plus, you have an increased luggage allowance of up to 25 kilos. Once through into the departure lounge, you can relax here on sumptuous sofas with complimentary refreshments and free Wi-Fi. One of the best things is that it's only a 60-minute check-in. You really will feel as though your modern luxury holiday has already begun. Once called to board your exclusive flight, it's a very short walk to the aircraft. You've got extra legroom seats so you can really stretch your legs and truly relax. The outbound flight will serve you a complimentary hot breakfast with drinks and the return flight a hot lunch with drinks. And when you land at your destination, you'll be met by celebrity representatives whisked off to the port and enjoy priority embarkation to Celebrity Equinox and Celebrity Constellation. On your return flight, you'll board the same aircraft and fly home in the same modern luxury style to which you've become accustomed. But remember, there is only one aircraft, so customs and immigration are incredibly quick and you'll be in your car within minutes. Personally, I can't think of a better way to travel. So come jet set sail with Celebrity Cruises and Planet Cruise. You'd be mad not to. I tell you what, guys, that's the way to do it. It is the way to fly. I actually <laughs> flew out with some of uh, our guests on the very first Jet Set Sail flight two weeks ago, and I met some Planet Cruise guests, and they said they would be watching tonight, so I promised I would say hello to uh, Adele and Julian and Sandra and Victor as well. Hello from Jet Set Sail. Uh, now, uh, you told me a very interesting fact earlier in yes. terms of the time it took to get from the plane into the car. Yes. How long? Well, our guests flew home, and the first guest who walked down the aircraft steps to getting their luggage through customs, through passport control, and in their car was seven minutes. Wow. No, Can no, you no. imagine? I think, I think you need to say minutes. that again. <laughs> seven minutes. Wow. Now, even the last people off the aircraft, uh, and they may have taken a little longer because they can still relax, the longest guest was 30 minutes. Wow. 
Wow. And I have to let's, tell you, the food on the plane too. Yeah, well, let's, let's look share at the with images. You some of the beautiful images. I mean, this just makes every aspect. Of this the is your perfect. beautiful lounge. In there, when you arrive at the terminal, you've got complimentary refreshments, tea, coffee, prosecco, complimentary newspapers, uh, and it is only a 60-minute check-in, as you said, yeah. Justin. But I know a lot of people are arriving early because yeah. they think this yeah. is so beautiful. Yeah. The food on the plane. Well, I flew out with the guests, and we had. Omelette for breakfast, hash brown, sausages, a beautiful fruit salad, proper china and glass. I will just tell you, I flew out on an unnamed but very well-known airline to Rome last week and I was served dinner, which was a quarter of a sandwich, and to this day I don't know what was in it. So I'm just referencing how good the food is on the aircraft. It really is luxury. And of course, you've got complimentary parking, which means that this holiday will cost you no more than if you're flying from Heathrow or Manchester because you have to pay for the parking. Uh, do you know, I was going to say, for, for, for me, that's one of the, the key things about this mm. product, why it attracts me so much. The fact there's no hassle parking. You know, the mm -hmm. arguments that you have, and, and we, were, we were saying just in the break, how, you know, I, I usually turn up at the airport the last minute because <laughs> you nice. can't stand being there. I would turn up two hours early, even though we've got the 60-minute yeah. check-in, yes. to enjoy yeah. that lounge, yes. to start unwinding. Um, it just means that every single aspect of this holiday is perfect. Anyway, we haven't even talked about the amazing uh, adventure that you're going to take on the celebrity cruise as well. So let's, let's, let's begin, Justin. Yeah, yeah, you're actually flying out from London. Again, that whole VIP field oh, yes. um, out to Barcelona. But our first port of call, close to my heart, because I'm heading out there tomorrow, Monte Carlo, oh, Monaco. What a it. place. 35,000 people will be sat in the grandstands this weekend and another 200,000 on the balconies. The 19 corners and the roar of those engines and the 80 years of history. <laughs> but then you've also got the glitz and glamour. It is one of the best places on the planet. So much so that the real estate agents, the estate agents, don't sell it by per square metre. They do it by per square inch. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. But the palace and oh. everything is just stunning there, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Then we're off to Nice. Um, uh, well, you're actually going to be docking in Villefranche, one of my favourite places. I, love I actually it. went back. It was one of the only places I actually went back to. Um, so you can go off to Nice, you can get a little train ride, or you can go off uh, on the bus. Um, do you know it? Italy, fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Just have a little bit of a wander around. But here I comes your. Vino. I was going to say, here comes your big ports. You've got Florence and Pisa. Do them both in a day. You want to go and see the Ponte Vecchio Bridge. You want to go and see David. Well, which, which one of, of the Davids you want to go and see? <laughs> There's about six of them. And of course, you've got to get your, uh, your, your picture of the, uh, the leaning tower. Um, then we're off to Rome, Civita Vecchia. Uh, now, I would recommend doing a tour because you can see it all in one day. You can see mm -hmm. the Vatican City. You can see the Trevi Fountain. You can see the Colosseum. You can see the Spanish Steps. And it's all within reach uh, of just... Uh, oh, go on, Ruth. I was going to say, if you don't want to do the whole guided tour for a day, we also do a tour called Rome on your own, so we'll take you in, give you a map, and then say we'll leave you and we'll pick you up at four o'clock and bring you back so you can do it at your own pace. Can I say that's probably one of the best ways to do it? Because it I'm always worried about is. the shit going. Exactly. <laughs> now, although you've seen all these amazing places, you'll love day seven because you're actually on that beautiful ship, of course, yes. with celebrity. Yes. Uh, uh, but then we're making our way over to Montenegro, aren't we? Yeah, Montenegro. Do you know, I absolutely love this. The, 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 the real strong maritime history. You've got St. Trifon's Cathedral there, uh, which is one of the most beautiful mm -hmm. things to go and see and do. Uh, and then we're into Croatia. Now this is one of the ports that is, is a new addition for me um, uh, and Zadar, absolutely stunning. Um, there's, there's apparently a sea organ that plays music um, from the actual ocean uh, itself, which sounds fantastic. And there's an outdoor forum bar. It's the place to be seen uh, um, definitely. You can sip, sup and sup, um, which is, is something about on a cell phone where you're sort of oh. messaging. I don't know, the kids are doing it. It's, all, this, it's all down to the kids. This is definitely one of the most unspoiled and beautiful coastlines in the whole of oh, Europe. Oh, the Adriatic's beautiful, isn't it? Um, and then we're into the bride of the Adriatic, Venice. Kind of what a place with to With an Venice. overnight stay there as yeah, well, so yeah. you've got time. Uh, you know, it's one of those places that comes alive at night. It really is somewhere. Go, go and get lost. I mean, you've got the Rialto Bridge there, the Bridge of Size. Now, um, and my top tip is to do a gondola ride at night when it's much oh, more peaceful, yeah. so quiet, and there's not queues of gondolas. It's very peaceful and beautiful. Uh, and then, uh, sadly, I say sadly, you, well, you, you will be flying back, but you are going to be flying the airport. In style, <laughs> yes. absolutely. We'll take you to the airport and you'll have your priority uh, embarkation onto your private jet to fly home and, and you could be in your car in seven minutes. And that does make a difference. Sometimes the end of the holiday can be a bit sad, but not 
with, of course, this amazing offer from Ruth yes. today. Now, my advice would definitely be to uh, upgrade to Ocean View, and you will then get the free classic drinks package. A drinks package I know inside out, and it's, <laughs> for me, it's the best at sea, Ruth. It absolutely I'm, is, because it's not just beer, wine, and soft drinks. It is spirits, special. it's cocktails, it's the specialty teas and coffees, juices, bottled water, and you're receiving onboard spend as well. Uh, yes, up to $500. $500. Yeah. Uh, now, the Jet Sail package also includes, as we mentioned, the VP flights. Uh, there's just a sample of what is included there. Um, well, there you've got your extra luggage allowance, so up to 25 kilos. The only one that isn't 25 kilos is Athens, short runway, so it's 23 kilos. The one hour check in, but the lovely food, the quality of service on board the aircraft, priority check in, and of course, complimentary parking literally right across the road from check in. Well, it was a top seller back in September. It, it certainly back was. By popular demand tonight. And just quickly, we've also got some other cruises available. Yes, we're way. doing a, ho uh, a long season next year because it's been so popular this year. So you'll find that there's a variety of sailings from June right through to September on Celebrity Constellation. You've got, you'll find itineraries with overnight in Dubrovnik, overnight in Malta, we visit Ibiza, Valencia, or you can move on to and choose one of the Celebrity Equinox sailings. We've got some seven night itineraries. My personal favorite is the 15th of July, which also repeats on the 12th of August, where you'll get an overnight in Mykonos and an overnight in Malta, visit Sicily and Amalfi, Stunning itineraries uh, and the VIP jet set sail say, experience. I'm, I'm actually really, really impressed with the Shall I get you booked? Um, <laughs> I'd like to go. I think, yeah, I, I quite like the look of the 5th of August, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful itinerary. Yeah. Ruth, we are sadly out of time. Oh, it's been lovely to come back and see you guys again. And I will be at the Planet Cruise Show in Southampton Brilliant. doing a talk theatre on celebrities. So come see me there yeah, too. Please do join Ruth and our good selves. Yes. Thank you so much, Ruth. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me again. <sighs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Well, amazing, that. Um, now, um, something really different now because we are back with Viking, uh, the Viking River Cruises on board the Viking Emerald. Now, um, actually, this is sold so well that we are actually quite limited in terms of availability. So just to give us an overview of where we're going to be cruising on this one. Well, th this is an opportunity of a lifetime because for me, I would absolutely love this itinerary. Ruth has actually been here three times. Can you believe it? Oh, I and can. This is, the reason why it's once in a lifetime, we're talking the Terracotta Army. We're talking Shanghai. We're oh. talking seeing pandas, real pandas, the Great Wall of China. This is just one of those things that if you've ever promised yourself, we've got to do it, go and do it now. Get on and the phone and book this cruise because it's superb. And you'll see, when, when Justin talks you through, you're at, you, this isn't just about the, the Great River Cruise. You've got so many fabulous uh, hotel stays in first class hotels as well. And, and that's the thing, yeah. you know, we've got two nights in Shanghai, uh, two nights in Shan and three nights in Beijing. Um, you've got time to do your own thing, but there is so much included with Viking. It's absolutely super. Well, let's give you a little taster. Here we go. So now, this is the gorgeous Viking Emerald, isn't it? Yeah, and the, and the thing is, this is one of the newest ships to actually sail on the Yangtze. Um, so you're getting fantastic quality. Um, it's actually built uh, with really nice wide open decks, so you actually get spectacular views, especially when you've um, got literally the shoreline just outside your window. It's absolutely superb. Um, the, the main part of this is immersing yourself in the culture. You can see some of the things that are going to be on board um, for enrichment. Uh, you've also got a, a tailor on board, so if you do want to have any suits or, or garments made for you, um, obviously an extra charge, but still you can have that. Do you know what? I think what a great idea. If you've never had a tailored suit, you've got to do it when you yeah, go yeah. here because they're, they're absolutely superb. Um, and also, you've got local dishes as well as Western dishes. So um, if you want to go, you know, sit, sit, if you want to really taste some of it, then you can do. Um, but it's just such a great itinerary. I just love the way that this is actually put together. Um, now, it's, it is a, a trip of a lifetime, so just, just sit back, relax, and we'll talk you through all the different aspects of this 40-night trip. So, we, we've, uh, so we fly over to Shanghai, first of all, don't we, overnight? Yep. 
and and remember tours are included on this one and the great thing is you start with a two night stay with a tour uh, on your on your first day in Shanghai to a local restaurant and see the world famous Shanghai acrobatic troupe this is something that is just absolutely superb then you've got your second day uh, where you're going to be doing a museum visit and then boarding your cruise ship and this is when you're going to be boarding the Viking Emerald um, which is again just seeing it on the, the side of the river and thinking it's such a small intimate um, experience compared to some of your, your other ocean cruises. Uh, then we're into day five, Wuhan. Uh, you've actually got the Chinese uh, museum visit, so you can go and see some of the lo local culture there. Uh, and then into Jingsu. Uh, now this is a transportation hub. This is real hustle and bustle. Um, it's, uh, it's sort of an area really that over the last 6,000 years has been a hub of our activity. Then uh, we're off to the Three Gorges, um, and you're actually cruising through um, throughout the morning and then disembark for a tour. Um, then you're going to go to the Lesser Three Gorges, um, and this, well, it's absolutely fantastic. Some of the things that you're going to see um, in, in the cliff sides, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Do your research, but the cliff sides are something rather, in, 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 um, uh, rather interesting. Then we're into Shabazai. Now this, you get chance to go up a temple, which is a 12-story, take a look at this, a 12-story pavilion. Uh, this was actually built back in 1650, um, and apparently wow. the higher you climb, the more likely you are to get your wish. I'm at the top. I'm at the top. Um, I, lo I love these sort of like little quirks of culture. You know, like, like when you open up the, um, the little fortune cookies. Yes, yeah. I've still got some of those in my office now. Um, open those. Um, then into Chongqing, and this is where you're going to get to see a panda. You actually go to a panda oh. zoo. Okay, they use it. They don't do uh -huh. much. They sleep. They chew bamboo. But you know what they do in between? They look super cute. I was going to say, don't they? They look. I'd gorgeous. love to see a panda. And again, one of the rarest uh, creatures on the uh, the face of the planet. Then you're actually try uh, transferring to Xi'an uh, for a two night stay, and this is where you get to tour the mausoleum, um, where over two thousand years ago the emperor was laid to rest with thousands of life-size ter terracotta warriors each one of them completely unique, um, archers, infantrymen, um, and this is all discovered back in the 70s, they're still discovering uh, more and more uh, chambers every day. So you get that first day there um, and then transfer across to Beijing. And this is where you get your three night stay in Beijing, again in a first class hotel. This is where you get to see the Great Wall of China. Now, I mean, you can see this from space. This is something that, again, is one of the, the wonders of the world. I mean, just, I, 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 yeah, the karate kid. It's just, he's there. I can see him there just practicing. It's brilliant. Um, <laughs> I, all joking aside, it's one of those things, yeah. the pyramids, the Great Wall of China. And, You've got to do these things. And, and what is so nice, everything is organized and arranged for you from start to finish with, with this trip of a lifetime. Uh, and we haven't quite finished there, have we? No, no, we've still got Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden City uh, to go to. Of course, Tiananmen Square, famous images, uh, can hold over a million people. Uh, and then, of course, the Forbidden City. All of these tours are included. The fact that you've got such a superb ship, and again, I can't emphasize this enough. Take a look at the bottom of that screen. Take in that price because what you are getting is all of those tours. You're getting a ship that has been designed and specifically built for the river that it's cruising on and an experience like no other. Well, we should let you know you're actually getting savings up to a thousand pounds off the brochure price here. And this includes all of your return flights from all over the UK as well. So no supplements for region departures. A two night stay in a first class hotel in Shanghai and Shine there and a three night stay in Beijing and all of those great tours that Justine described. And as I mentioned, a huge saving up to one thousand pounds off the brochure price. Uh, and I won't read out everything that's included there because it is quite comprehensive, but here's just a, a quick reminder for you. I tell you, that does represent amazing value there, doesn't it? Well, you just think how much two nights in a hotel would cost you in London, let alone Shanghai, Xi'an and Beijing. Visiting pandas, terracotta warriors, Tiananmen Square, all of it included. Uh, and don't forget complimentary wine, beer and soft drinks with all of your onboard dinners and lunches as well. It has been selling very quickly, so you know, not a huge amount of availability. And price-wise, uh, we you see we've got some sellouts already uh, in April and July, but uh, we have still got verandas and junior suites. And single price is good on that as well. <laughs> wow.
great show so far, isn't it? it do you know what? I can't believe we, we're only on the fourth deal. We are, and uh, it's going to be a biggie, this one, because Thompson Cruises are back tonight. Uh, and they always tend to be extremely popular, particularly when you get a repositioning cruise, which is what we've got tonight. Just before we, we, we talk about Thompson, we are going to give you tonight a free upgrade from inside to outside and a free all-inclusive drinks package. When you look there, this is 12 nights for 7 99 That's for an outside and a drinks package. And... Um, you know, please obviously be sensible you're drinking, but 12 nights, that could add up to a lot, couldn't it? And it's just nice to know you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, what, how much is the bill yeah. going to be at the end. Especially on, say, a longer cruise, like 12 nights. Exactly. Can add up, not with this. Anyway, uh, let's take her on board. Thompson. John, there's a, there's a great family feel with Thompson. Of course, fantastic classic cruise ships that are refitted to high modern standards. The fact that you've got such a family feel. When I say family feel, I'm not just talking about families with children. I'm talking about when you go back, you yeah. feel as if you're going home. So many people stay with Thompson Cruises. I know there's, there's been lots of people. I know, obviously, Keith worked with Thompson for he a did, very long time. He did. The entertainment is award winning. Um, and it is just that feeling of, do you know what, if you've, if you've never done a cruise before, this would be a great first time cruise. Just to ease yourself in, you get to see a different place every day. Again, all inclusive. You've got as much or as little as you want to do with all the onboard activities. If you want to go to the spa to indulge, you can do. Um, and I, I really can't emphasize this enough because it's a, a classic, smaller size ship, you get to know people. You have a chat, you have a laugh. You don't just and sit there and go, oh, look at them over there. No, no, no it's, you, you, I, I just know you will have a, a fantastic time. So we, whenever I meet, you know, viewers, and I, I, I've met hundreds in my lifetime, so many of you rave about Thompson. And this tonight is one of the best offers we've ever had. And what I love, you'll see that the temperatures get higher as the cruise continues. So we start off with a flight from the UK to Malaga. Uh, again, good choice of air flights, actually. We've got um, air flights, rather. Uh, Gatwick, Manchester, Birmingham or Glasgow, all based on the lead date. Where are we going to first, Justin? First port call is into Karn Hainan. Now, this is a fantastic history, uh, sorry, port for its history. Um, you've got these fantastic amphitheatres, uh, and of course, this is where Hannibal's Spanish quarters were um, uh, during the Punic War, so uh, fantastic stuff there. Into classic port now, Parma. Largest city on Mallorca, you can't go wrong. Shopping's fantastic here, and so's dining. You've actually got a mini version of La Rambla, which you've got yes, in Barcelona, yeah, yeah. in Parma. Um, you can go out and do some, uh, some tours if you want. There's some lovely little bars and uh, marinas as well, so plenty to do. Then we've got a relaxing day at sea, and then we're into Malta. Now, the letter has got one of the most beautiful ports I have ever seen. I remember sitting on deck having breakfast. Um, at the aft end of the ship. Um, you've got St Paul's Cathedral that you can go to see. You can go and see some of the fortifications. It really is one of those days where you can do as little or as much as you want. Another relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Santorini. And now, of course, this is where they reckon um, that uh, Atlantis was. Of course, it's in the, uh, um, the bowl of a volcano, and it is the quintessential. It's just those blue uh, rooftops and whitewashed walls. It's like a, a Greek yogurt advert. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, then we're into Rhodes. Uh, of course, plenty to see and do here. Go to the Acropolis of Lindus, um, or if you want to go to uh, the Colossus of Rhodes, uh, Rhodes uh, as well. Um, then we've got a relaxing day at sea before we spend another day at sea, but something rather interesting. You're going to be transiting the Suez Canal. And I've always wanted to do this. Do you know, it's six years at sea, and I never did it. Did really? the, uh, did the, um, oh, what's the one over in South America? Uh, the Panama the Canal. Panama. Did that numerous times, never did the Suez. Um, and then we've got a relaxing day at sea, and then we're off to Aqaba in Jordan. So it really does finish things off with a complete, I mean, just take a look yeah. at this. I just love, I mean, you just think of dates and couscous and all that wonderful food um, and that family feel that you get with Thompson. And, and look at the price. Bear in mind, this is for an outside and it's all inclusive. 12 night. I think it's, I think it's exceptional value tonight and I'm sure it'll be a top seller as always with Thompson. So just to remind you, you get a free upgrade tonight from inside to outside. You get a free all inclusive. Flights, look at this. Um, you can choose Gatwick, Manchester, Birmingham or Glasgow, all of those based on the, uh, the lead date. We've got that overnight on board, of course, and uh, slightly different itineraries depending on departure date there. But if you'd like to book tonight, don't forget, every cruise has its own ID number. This one is 107757. And price-wise, we've either got the 799 for the 24th of November, 929 for the 28th of March.
I had some great upgrades. Even the sweet there is really good, isn't it? Starting at 1199. Got a really good show tonight. Um, now, from Thompson to Norwegian Cruise Line. Next, on board the Norwegian Jade, the ship that was on a few years ago, actually. Really, really modern. I love, I love the Just, way in yeah, which they really... look after the single cruisers as well. Yeah, they're very good, actually, for single passengers. Uh, and I was single for many years, as you know. And, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're happy now, though. <laughs> well, uh, any... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's, let's go on the cruise, shall we? Anyway, yeah, on. this is the Norwegian Jade. <laughs> uh, now, the, the, the fun thing about Nor um, Norwegian Cruise Line is straight away you can see the ship when it's in port. You've got these wonderful colour, colourful holes uh, that are, are all designed uh, by one artist. And I think really, it really does uh, reflect of what's inside yeah. as well. I think the facilities are fantastic. There is a different atmosphere and a different yeah. attitude towards cruising with the, the, NCL. If you, if you are worried about too much formality or too much kind of set dining, it's never like that with Norwegian Cruise Lines. It's all very kind of freestyle. So, you know, you, the, no set times, no set agenda, but still great service and great food and, and really nice ships. The ships are really kind of fun and bright and colorful. Well, and, and they are, I, th I think modern. I mean, when you yeah. take a look at yeah. that, I just go, you know what? I'd love to be that and to have a bath I mean obviously there's different rooms that are available but to have a bath at sea anyway um, the actual places that we're going I can't wait to find uh, out uh, uh, well we're going to do that right now but uh, we've also got on this particular cruise a free all-inclusive drinks package as well I know I mentioned that quite a lot but yeah. it's it, it, if you ask someone that the likes drink on your holiday that will save you so much money and as you said hassle free as well it just yeah, yeah right. fill it up and, and and the staff are so obliging you'll actually have to say no really i don't want another one i don't want another one um <laughs> but the uh the, the itinerary they've got here seven days well yeah um starting in greece and then ending in venice well it's just oh sorry no, it's start, start start in venice. Venice, yeah start in venice. now of course this is, your, <laughs> this is your embarkation port and what a fantastic sail away because of course you've got the grand canal where you're going to be on board your ship literally looking down and seeing all the gondolas Brilliant! It yep. is one of the one of the best ports in the world to cruise out from. Isn't oh, definitely! It? Yeah. I th I, I definitely up there, top five. Yeah. Top five. We should do a top five and a top ten, shouldn't we? We should. Really? Um, a port. Uh, anyway, um, we've got our first port call, which is Corfu. Now, of course, Corfu, birthplace of Prince Philip. You've got the. Um, uh, Achillean Palace, you've got some fantastic tavernas and the little um, marinas that you've got. I mean, take a look at the shores uh, and the coastline here. I mean, it is picture postcard perfect. Uh, then from Corfu, we're off to Santorini. Of course, we covered that before. Um, the, this has just got these beautiful blue roofs. Take a look at this. Uh, and of course, it's on the, uh, the literally the hillside of a volcano looking into this beautiful deep blue ocean. Um, then we're off to one of my favourite places that I haven't been, but I cannot wait to go. My other half went here a couple of years ago. I went on a walking holiday across the Ridgeway in the wettest April in recorded history. She went to Mykonos. She's smart, tell, isn't she? I know, she's smart. Mykonos is a happening place. It's fantastic in the daytime, um, and it's got a really, really vibrant nighttime scene. Of course, famous for Shirley Valentine and the windmills, um, apart from Shirley Valentine, of course, the Bourne Identity as well. Yeah, of just course, gotta, yeah. Just, just got to add that in there. But can I just say, this is the place to be seen. Get your crisp linens out, get your glam uh, sandals out, and girls, go for it. Anything goes in, uh, in Mykonos. Uh, then we're off to Catacolon. Now, this is where you need to book a tour, do something which is a little bit historical, because, of course, this is the original birthplace um, of the Olympics. So uh, plenty to see and do, but book a tour. You can do it through Planet Cruise, because we do things uh, which are bespoke to what you're, you require. Then we're heading back to Venice, and I tell you what, that sail through the Adriatic uh, back into Venice is worth getting up for. Um do you know what I've just um, realised? I know it's pretty obvious, but the lead date is the 20th of August. I mean, that's peak season, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what do you think? Great cruise, really... cruise line like, uh, sorry, New Norwegian cruise line, all inclusive drinks package, yeah. and you've got return flights. flights from yeah, I, London or Manchester. I honestly think that is amazing for August. So, yeah, just just said free drinks package, return flights. Uh, now, they're from London or Manchester based on the lead date. Uh, we have got flights from selected UK airports. Generally speaking, we can all, always find you other flights. Just ask our call centre. And the item is different just slightly depending on departure date. Uh, now, just to remind you what's included in this, you do get the free drinks package, and that means spirits and cocktails, wine by the glass, bottles of draft beers, and fountain soda and juice as well. And let's remind you of those juicy prices as well tonight, because uh, 829, actually that's for both of the August dates, there's only a £20 difference on the ocean view and the balcony there starting at 1149. Oh, that's brilliant. 
can I, can I, I've just got to say bef before we go on to our next cruise, you know, said about the all in inclusive drinks package. Can you do us a favour? Because you can send in these images. What you need to do when you're all inclusive, have the cocktail of the day every day and name it after the day of the week. So, my time Monday. Oh, I like that. And just send us, send us a photo. Yeah, and okay, just yeah. Yeah, just at this all that like, cruise caption. Yeah, great idea. My time Monday. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we um, we were going to move on to the next cruise actually, but we've just heard that oh. uh, Glenn is on the line. Our lovely Glenn from Planet Cruise. Hey, hey there, guys, Glenn. how are you? You okay? Yeah, all you good? mate. There good, you are. Good. <laughs> You've just popped up on the screen now, Glenn. Whenever you pop up on the screen, oh yeah, there he is. We know that a great deal has just come in. Is that oh, right? I like to pop up on your screen, no oh, problem yes. at all. Listen, we've got a little deal just come in from uh, Princess Cruises. They've just let us know about it. It's on the Emerald Princess, fantastic, just refurbished. Um, they've got a great cruise going out on the 2nd of July 2016 from Southampton, so you can take as much as you want. And they've got a great itinerary going over to Scandinavia and Bruges on Ooh. this one. The lead-in price on this one is just 589 which is fantastic value for that time of year that on Princess. Good. Or you can treat yourself for a couple of hundred pounds more and actually go for a balcony at 789 Wow. How and many nights does that again? That's seven nights, that one. Seven That's night cruise. Seven but it's a great itinerary going off to Bruges, Copenhagen, over to Oslo as well. So really, really good itinerary. And that's just literally coming in the last and, half an hour. And as so. you said, for, for the 2nd of July with Princess, that's and I'm just really thinking, good. It's going to be good weather, beautiful yeah. time over there to go and see it. So uh, this is going to be very, very yeah. busy tonight. Glenn, that is amazing. That one, I know whenever we get these kind of last minute deals, that come, they do tend to be top sellers, don't they? Yeah, they do. They come in very, very quickly, and then, as I said, they sell out very quickly as well. So just let us know. Give us a call. The team are waiting, and it's Brilliant. been busy all night. I was going to say, it sounds busy in the background. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would, uh, I'd, I'd love to do that one myself. Glenn, when are we going to see you on the sofa again? Uh, back on the first Tuesday of the month. So I'll be back and uh, uh, back live in the show, so I'll be looking forward to it. All right, then. Thank you so much, Glenn. What time are you open until tonight? Is it 11? Uh, we're going to be open until 10.30 tonight and then back open at 8 o'clock in the morning, so we'll all be uh, sleeping over here and getting ready for the morning. Fabulous, Glenn. And are you busy tonight? We can hear, say, calls in the background. Are you busy? We are busy, yeah. Lots of stuff going on at the moment. It's a busy time of year. So, yeah, just give us a call and, uh, as I said, we'll get you booked on whatever cruise you want to go on. Brilliant. Thank you, Glenn. Cheers, guys. A have a great weeks. night. Bye, mate. That's good, good itinerary. And, yeah. and that completes tonight's show. I love the fact that we, you know, we've, we've done so much. We've done Mediterranean, yeah. we've done river cruising, uh, we, you know, Scandinavia, and now Caribbean. Oh, yes, because... We're going to finish with, I say finish, we've got a cheeky six star at the very end, OK? But cheeky. It's very cheeky. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, but we've actually got Viking cruises, but this is, this is the Viking star, uh, and this is, their, this is uh, the most amazing ship. But have a little look. Do you know what? The, the, the real great thing about Viking cruises as a company, they really know how to do their river cruises, and now they're going to the ocean. Yeah. But these ships I, are another league. It I, really I've is. I've got to say, I only first, I first saw this literally a few days ago, but my word, how impressive is this ship? I, I'm not going to give too much away, but I know when the actual ocean cruise line was being set up, they were looking around the industry for the best people to work on board. Oh, really? So I'm telling you now, you know, I, di I didn't get a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it. Yeah. Um, but really, it is the creme de la creme. I'm, I mean, look at the facilities on board. Wow. Well, and again, just like when you're on the uh, the river cruises, you've got your wines, you've got your beers, you've got your soft drinks. Um, near enough, everything is included apart from your very, 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 very high top shelf sort of uh, liqueurs and spirits that you would expect to pay for. Shore excursions in every sorry. port. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, 20... I'm in a spa there before this shore excursion. Oh, right here. sorry. I must admit that I'm, nice. that does look nice. It oh, does. And, it... of course, the sauna. Oh. I mean, it's breathtaking, isn't it? I know. I, 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 the, um, the, the, the food on board is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, look at oh! I want to try this. Yeah. Do you know, as as a product, it really stands out there because in this modern day and age, we have so many different cruise lines. We've we've had lots of different offerings tonight, but this, like I said, if you're going to start a new strand of your company, yeah. they want to take the essence, the DNA of a river cruise, and make it personal, keep the quality the same. And when you do that in volume, when you do that on a larger ship, that's where a lot of cruise lines really do fall down. 
but when you see oh. just how good the facilities are, how good the service is, it is another league completely. Uh, um, you get all your Wi-Fi included and 24-hour speciality and, teas and coffees as and, well. And all of, did you see all of your shore excursions as well, Justin? All of your shore excursions are included, and, so and every the, port. And it is a free, again, exclusive uh, drinks package as well on this one. Wow, yeah. amazing. So near enough everything apart from the top shelf. When I say top shelf, I'm talking you sort of uh, your, your luxury, luxury brands. Well, I mean, looking at the, I, you, you just... Did, I did have Stunning. to point out again, just like the River Cruise, a lot of you, look, we give you such great value. This is Venice, by the way. We always go on about how great the sailing is, or, well, was Venice, um, uh, and Monte Carlo. Um, we always go on and on and on about value, about how much it is per night. And a lot, a lot of viewers at home will look at that and go, okay, that's nearly two and a half thousand pounds. But when you have the all-inclusive drinks package, yeah. when you have all of the tours included, yeah. that you can do what you want, when you want, not just go, oh, well, let's save a couple hundred dollars for that and let's do this. Just do it. If you want to do it, carefree, just do it and do it properly. You know what they say about going big or go home? That's what exactly this cruise is. And if you, you know, maybe you've already you know, expensed a lot of lovely cruise companies, but you want to try something new, then now's the time to book tonight. And so they've got such a great reputation with the river cruises. You can imagine how exquisite this is going to be. So let's uh, start off with our flight from the UK, of course. Yep, and uh, what we've got here is just a fantastic itinerary. First port, San Juan. Um, brilliant for shopping. You can either go to the new uh, Plaza of Americas or you can go to the old town, which is just at the end of the pier there. So the yeah, left-hand side and have a little bit of a wander around. That's where I'm Can I say you get all your big American designer brands at discount prices. Really, really good there. And there's some good dirt juice duty-free uh, liquor stores there. Then we're off to uh, Rotan in Tortola. Um, I'd actually go say, don't go to Cane Garden Bay. Everybody goes to Cane Garden Bay, so guess what? Everybody's there. Instead of turning right to Cane Garden Bay, go left and go to Long Beach. It's quiet, and guess what? It's called Long Beach for a reason. Beautifully quiet. Um, then we're off to Antigua, 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. Absolutely stunning. Um, and then St Lucia, of course. There's lots to do beach-wise, but St Lucia, you can go and do something completely different. You can actually go to see the Pitons. You can go to Marigot Bay, where they filmed the original Doctor Doolittle with Rex Harrison. You like um, your films, don't you? I, I yeah. love your films. I love going... Uh, Marigot Bay, it does... Do you know what? Marigot... That, that picture didn't do it justice. Because I tell you what, the, the, the resort that's there, there's a resort called Discovery, and I've actually got a champagne bar in the Caribbean. Yeah, champagne bar, called the Giant Pink Sea Snail. Try saying that when you've had a couple of champagnes. <laughs> uh, also, notable beaches, you want to go to Pigeon Point, you want to go to Spinnaker's as well. Uh, the Sandals resorts are, are, are quite good uh, with their beaches. Then we're off to Barbados. Now, if you're in Barbados in the day, there is one place you have to go. It's called the Boat Yard. Um, I say that in quite a confident manner because everybody that I used to work with at sea is now screaming, going, no, don't tell everybody about the boat yard. It's the place to go. It's the best beach and the best vibe. Really good, uh, really good fun. Uh, also, we're going then to Guadeloupe. Now, this is one of the ports that was never on one of our itineraries. So I've not been here, no. No, apparently it is. It, if you want to go for, for your, your real authentic gifts, this is a place to go. And let's face it, the beaches, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Then you're off to St. Kitts, really lush green island. Again, Port Zante, fantastic for your shopping. You can go out a little bit further and you can do quad biking, you can do your walking, you can do waterfalls. Absolutely stunning. And then, finishing off, and wait for it, we're finishing off. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I, I thought I was on the last day then. Don't cut, cut a shot, just Sorry. <laughs> We're in St. Martin, we Dutch Island, French Island, and in the middle, there's a fantastic strip of duty-free stores where you can get your cameras, your watches, and your jewellery. Uh, then we're off to St. Thomas, of course. This, yes. again, I, I love St. Thomas for its beaches, but I tell you what, again, all of your uh, clothing brands are there, the big brands, all of the bars. It's got that real American feel and one of the most beautiful um, sunsets that I've ever captured I, on my camera. I mean, I, I, I love cruising around the Caribbean. Never get tired of it. I always come back feeling so good and, you know, really, really relaxed and chilled. Uh, and then back to San Juan, back to San Juan. and your flight to the UK. Can I give um, you a top tip? Yeah, go on. Take an empty suitcase. Well, you what do you <laughs> need? What do you need on a Caribbean holiday? You need flip-flops, shorts and sunnies. Sunglasses. Right? Take an empty suitcase, load up with all your brands yeah. in San Juan uh, and in, uh, oh, I forgot the place now. Um, I'll think of it in a second. Carry on. Okay, I will. I, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> carry on, as you were. <laughs> no. 
It's like you've been on the exclusive drinks package. <laughs> just to, but anyway, you will get that free. <laughs> you also get your... Co now, this is really important. All of your shore excursions are complimentary. You get complimentary Wi-Fi as well. Return flights. And remember, all of this for under £2,440. Amazing value. And that's for Veranda, we should say. And again, yeah. you know, when we say that price, you go, great value. Ask yourself, why is that price? You get what you pay for. That is one of the best and cruise experiences we've got. So just to recap, the Viking Ocean cruise includes the Veranda Straight Room or Suite, 24 hour room service, free Wi Fi, free all inclusive drinks package, free airport parking, use of all the spa facilities there, and specialty tea and coffee at uh, any time on board. And how much would you normally spend on shop excursions? They are all, again, included in that price. And here's a quick reminder there. Price is starting uh, from 2439 and uh, great prices on the Pentas Verandas and even the Junior Suites as well. But it is that time to recap everything we've seen so far. We start off with that really great deal from MSC. I know the fans will be ex exceptionally busy for this. 399. Uh, and that's for the seven night Belgium, Germany and France cruise from Southampton. Only a deposit needed tonight on that one. Works out uh, under £57 per person per night. We then had the wonderful Ruth uh, with us from Celebrity Cruises. And this was the 10 night VIP luxury Italy, Adriatic and Monaco cruise from Barcelona, of course, and you get so much on this one. If you go for the Ocean View, you will get the free classic drinks package and free uh, onboard credit up to $500. And the jet sale includes VIP flights with 60 minute check in and priority embarkment on board as well. There, a return flights based on London Stansted, and uh, oh, yeah, we've got uh, tickets available as well. For the F1, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so if you're thinking you of that, wouldn't you? Yeah, the Grand Prix this weekend, I'm flying out tomorrow. This time next year, you could be there seeing who's yeah. racing. So uh, just ask us about uh, prices on those. We then had Viking, but this was the River Cruise, of course, and it is the uh, 40 night uh, Imperial Jewels of China from Shanghai there. Brilliant offer, 2389. And again, uh, that does include two night first class hotels in both Shanghai, Shine, and three nights in Beijing as well. And all of those great, great tours and a huge saving of up to £1,000 off the brochure price. Thompson were next and if you want to get away, all inclusive for 12 nights in an outside cabin, you can do it for 799 on that one. So you are getting a free upgrade, a free all inclusive drinks package, flights from either Gatwick, Manchester, Birmingham or Glasgow, they're all based on the lead date and of course the overnight on board as well. And then we moved on to Norwegian Cruise Lines. I thought this was really good value. Bear in mind, the lead date is the 20th of August. A free all-inclusive drinks package, 829 is the price, and return flights are from London or Manchester as well, based on that lead date. And then we finished with Viking, but their ocean cruises. Love the look of this one. Uh, so you've got the all-inclusive drinks package, the complimentary shore excursions, and uh, they're in every port as well on those. And the Wi-Fi. Return flights uh, based on London. And as I mentioned, the items just differ slightly depending on departure date. Now remember, every cruise has its own ID number. The one for this one is 117813. And also, don't forget that Glenn called in. And let's, let's test our memory. 2nd of July. Yeah, seven nights. Scandinavia. And it was the Emerald Princess. And the price? I'd forgotten that. 589, wasn't it? Yeah. And the balcony, I think he said £200 more, didn't he? Did somebody just told him the music. No, they didn't. <laughs> I don't even listen to them upstairs. My memory's sharp still. Um, <laughs> but we have got something extra special that we just got time to squeeze in from Region. And they featured it. This is six star luxury at its very best. Uh, they are on my wish list. And I'll be honest, I, I've looked before, Justin, and I've just, they've been a little bit out of my price range. This is outstanding isn't it have you got a special occasion that's coming up towards the end of this year this is the one that you want to book it for all inclusive seven uh, seven ninth all inclusive st petersburg we saw all of your visas out free wi-fi all of the gratuities are included as well and you get a night in a, a luxury hotel yeah. um 
pre-cruise. Now, anyone that's ever looked at Regent Seven Seas, um, and I've looked many times, you, because of, you know they are six star, you are paying that bit extra, but not tonight, under 2,100. And that will be, uh, as Justin said, that will be incredible. Yeah. That special occasion. Or maybe you've done the four star cruises and the five star, and you just want to go that extra notch, then give us a call for that one. They did feature a few weeks ago, and actually uh, it was a top selling cruise, I remember, on the show. So we just wanted to introduce you to that deal right now. And don't forget, I'm going to be at the cruise show. Ruth from Celebrities will be at the cruise show, and we're going to be joined. He's going to be at the cruise, yeah. cruise show. Sorry, you're not. I feel left out. It's all right. I'm away. I'm away. I was going to say you're away. Stop complaining. But we've got. Um, remember, the Sunday, the 12th of June, 9:30 to 4. You can turn up any time, so you don't have to be there the whole day. But you'll get to meet over 25 ocean and river lines. I find it really interesting, even though I've cruised a lot myself. I still learned so much at this event. And you've got your complimentary drink, you've got the talk theatre. I'm going to be there in the talk theatre with Keith answering your questions. We've got exclusive deals on the day, and uh, we're going to be obviously celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday. Justin won't be there, but he'll be there in spirit. We'll be thinking of you, Justin. I'll, we'll be, a, I'll be celebrating the, the Queen's 90th birthday in London. We'll have a picture of you there, don't worry. Uh, uh, and no, also, right. don't forget the Planet Cruise website. Hey, you know the Jet Sail from Celebrity? It's there, you can see uh, on our uh, landing page there. But every deal tonight and many more are available with a cross planet. Because do you know what I'd, what I'd love to say? Don't sulk. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, oh, oh uh, go on. Yeah. Um, for anyone that's never booked a cruise before, um, I'd love you to do your first cruise tonight, to book your first cruise tonight, because you don't realise how good it is until you try, do you? And do you know, I know it sounds strange. We've been going on, all joking aside, about how great tonight's show has been. It's got everything. It really has. But you know what? If, if there's something that hasn't tickled your fancy tonight, phone up the guys and go, you know what, yeah. I've got two weeks in this month and I've got this budget. Because the guys will find something will. for you. It'll be within your budget, it'll surprise you what's included, and again, we can bespoke everything. So if you want to stay on for an extra night before or after, we can do it. And we've got some of the greatest people. Uh, and also, if you, if you maybe have been on cruises but you've never booked with Planet Cruise, again, give us a call, see what deal we can offer you. You know, we, we, we get great customer feedback. You don't get to be ratings. top agent with some no. of the biggest cruise yeah. lines uh, without great customer service. So, I hope you book your first cruise tonight. I hope you book your 25th cruise. I think I'm, I haven't done 25, I've done 20. Two, I think. I've been so very your, lucky. Your silver cruise. <laughs> Listen, I've been very lucky, but <laughs> I know that you'll have a great time. Justin, thank you so much. You're back next week, yeah, aren't you? I'll see you next week. We'll yeah, see you no next problem. Tuesday, 8 o'clock. We'll see you next week at 8 o'clock as well. But from the whole team at Planet Cruise, thank you so much for joining us. We always love presenting this show. And give us a call. The uh, phone line's open until 10.30 tonight, first thing tomorrow morning at 8. We'll see you soon.